All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We're going to be playing as the Hetza, the Octopons of Sotiat. So, these are our heat rounds. They're going to be our backups. These are armor piercing composite rigid, so we maybe have a couple of those as tertiary rounds, actually. You never know, right? In case we run into some big stuff that we just can't penetrate. And we're going to use Panzer Grenade 39s as our primaries. And I don't think we're going to need uh, high explosive rounds. So, let's get to battle. I love this map. I love Poland. Poland is basically like a treat. Um, I think we need more kind of um, smaller theater urban warfare maps for tanks. I, I think they're a lot of fun. I'm still waiting for a good desert themed map. You know? So interestingly enough about this thing, it's strong from the front. It's got a nice 60 degree slope and I think even 60 millimeters of frontal armor. The sides are only 20 mils. 20 millimeters of armor, so this thing is only really good at stopping stuff from the front. So keep that in mind. Plus you have, I think it's the pig's head, I believe is what it's called, that kind of a gun mantlet. Look at this, we've got, I think it's a Romanian KV-2 next to us. So off to battle we go, we got some KV-2s ahead of us. Um, we got a, the lower glacis is also kind of a, a weaker area if you're going to be aiming from the front, but if you can flank this thing you're done. So we're going to have to kind of play a little smart. Hostile team's capturing A and B. B is almost directly ahead of me. Critical hit. A little snapshot. He's on fire. Not good enough. Oh, we're not firing our right rounds, damn it. We're firing heat rounds. Wow. Yeah, I, I kind of messed that up. Um, did we see anything? Alright. The little Hetzer. It's moving up, man. Gonna be a little aggressive with it, but like I said, if we do get flanked, we're pretty much boned right through the driver's hatch right there got some people flanking over there can't get a shot off on that T-34 but he's a 1941 so it's difficult to find a, a firing spot oh that was just a snapshot not a very good spot but it, it was pretty good penetration alright we are weak let's see where the killing shot came from Yep. Ooh, right. Basically, the top little segment of the lower glacis plate, with a, you know, a high penetration 50 millimeter. Hi, <laughs> <I> YouTube. <laughs> All right. So, let's see. We don't want heat rounds as a primary. <clears throat> okay, good. Our Panzer Grenade 39s are our primary. Are, are basically automatically loaded. Panzer 4 F2 at a distance. Nothing to see there. Let's try to get up. They have two capture points. We're contesting B, but we're still unable to take it. So the enemy team... I think that the western side is generally favored on, on almost all Poland maps. I love the outlay of the, Pol of, of the Poland map, the Polish map, if you will, and of course you will. But um, <clears throat> I think my only question is, What's with the uh, capture points? They seem to generally favor the western side as opposed to myself on the eastern side in Team Blue. And everyone knows that Team Blue is the, it's, it's the best team. Alright, so we got enemies over here trying to flank. Oh, pulled right behind there. Whoa, 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 we're stuck. That Panzer III is just moving. Artillery's coming in. Ground unit destroyed. Looks like it was right through the uh, turret ring. Oh, that's a bomb. Damn! B-25 took us out. So that is the end of my uh, Hetzers this round. So I'm going to enjoy my... Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can't get this guy real quick. That would be fantastic if we could get vengeance on him. Oh, 
Oh, that reload. Come on. Reload faster. Dang. That's definitely unfortunate. Now he's gonna go dolphin dive? No hits. Okay, we got some hits. One of those was critical. Incoming! It's a bullfight! Ah! Alright, good. Alright, there's two down. So, that's what we do with our Werble win. The Blazer, the 420 Blaze. We got any more planes? I don't see anything else. Whoa, what's he firing at? Can't tell. I think he's just happy to see people. But, I like the Hetzer. It's fun. It's difficult to play though. It's it's not the strongest. So enemy plane is incoming. And we're gonna we're gonna knock him down with the Werble win. Then we're gonna get back to Hetzing. Where's the enemy at? We could actually move into town. Oh here we go. Perfect. It's a Spitfire. So if these guys come over here, F4U. If anyone comes over here, we're gonna take them down. Oh, he's, he's, he's hungry. Come on. Come on, hurry up. There we go. We'll take it. So we're knocking him down with the Werble win. Thing's fun. Team's gonna not be able to... I guess we're capping C right now, and it may be enough, actually, to stall them out. So someone is along the long road, I think. I want to see what 420s can do. Any planes up in the air? Not in the moment. Oh, yeah. Spitfire. Hey, friend. Uh, and a key 49. Reload. Very long reload. Of all the um, German SPA, I think the Werbel wins the longest. But it does have the most guns. Can you imagine some of the American um, AAA SPA? It's going to be fun. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Oh, man. That would've been great. We're not gonna be able to get that guy before he dies. Enemy kill assist, we'll take it. Yeah, so this is kind of fun. The Hetzers were knocked out relatively quickly, so we might as well enjoy ourselves a bit. Enemy bomber's incoming. We're gonna wanna get in position for that. Well, that's what 20 mils do up against a T-50. But these are like the anti-aircraft rounds anyway. There's a bomber. There's the bomber. Good old Welly. Alright, we're gonna let them... Oh, we got Tear of the Sky. Nothing. But, I think, I think that was decent. We'll see how many planes we knock down. Looks like three planes. And two tanks on the ground with the Hetzer. So we gotta get back in the Hetzer, cause that's what we're really doing, but I just got ADD. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we are back here. Gonna be taking out the Hetzer, put it through its paces. Let's see how it does. Interestingly enough, it's a Czech tank chassis um, off the Panzer 38T, which were Panzer 38T, 35T produced in the Czech Republic, or I believe it was Czechoslovakia then. ZSU-37, interesting. Kind of don't see that every day. Although, we've got KV-85s and Tigers in here. Good lord. Hey, get out my face. Get out my face. So, oh yeah, T-34-57s, we... We got placed a little high, I'd say, but, you know, as far as battle ratings, tiers are concerned, it's going to be a little tougher. But yeah, near the 
You know, basically the T thirty five T or Panzer T thirty five Panzer thirty five T's and thirty eight T's were basically found useless. So they're like, hey, let's you know turn them into something that can at least bounce some shots from the front, be a decent tank to shore. Woo! Hey, daddy. Who is your daddy and what does he do? This is a British Tiger. Interesting enough. All right, so we'll follow this other head, sir. No, we're not going to do that. Skirt. We're going to go this way. So there's one cap point. Huh. Seems to be in a different location. I wonder if they just randomized that. But the enemy has it. Oh yeah, we're going straight for the cap point, actually, so... No need to take down these side roads, I don't think. Actually, <laughs> now we have an Irish tiger. How funny is this? Everyone puts the flag of where they're from. So we got some teamwork. Is that artillery? That definitely seems like artillery. So naturally... Who's this? An enemy or a friend? Friendly. Could have been bad. Could have been real bad. Our shots coming in from over there. Panzer 3L, jeez. All kinds of tanks in this battle. Ooh. Panzer 4G. Come on, really? Balls. I don't even know where that came from. Ha! <laughs> from the side. A 57 millimeter, not that it needed it. Where's my cover? You know, it's always easier to blame the... Blame your friends than blame yourself. I put myself in a terrible position, especially since we're under-tiered. Should be playing more conservatively, but... I want to kill things, guys. I'll be honest. I really, really do. Really want to kill me some tanks. But, you know, if you're a Hetzer, it's just... The Hetz doesn't... You know, you don't really choose the Hetz. You know what they say. You know the saying. You know how it works. Oh god, a panther? That's scary. That thing could just <laughs> me right in the side. Got that nice, nice, nice 75. Oh, is that an enemy? If it is, we're gonna shoot it in the back. Oh yeah, it is. Skrrr! Oh man, didn't really penetrate it. Oh, we. We're using the wrong kind of shells. What is that crap? I hate that. I hate that crap. You gotta be on top of everything, man. And we were not. No, we were not. Alright, we're gonna go down this road. Hopefully that panther won't snipe us. Hopefully we'll see someone. Get a nice flanking shot. The optimism. The optimism is real. So this map seems like it's taking a decent amount of time. Anything down that road? Probably not. Anything? Nothing yet, boys and girls. Nothing yet. Oh, God. Some big hitters out here. Where's that T-3045? T-49 just took out one of our tigers. Shit. The battle is raging. Alright, so they're over there. Actually, they could be anywhere this way. Oh, that sounded like someone was trying to shoot me. We're just really derping hard. Oh, dead Irish tank. He's dead, shit. That could have been the one that got bombed. <gasps> what is this? I don't know if that's an enemy or a friend. 
Oh, okay, he's a friendly. Wow! I think it's a French T-34. <laughs> wow, what killed that? SU-85. And this one's on fire. Hmm. Gonna have to go down this back road here. Come on, a little faster. Just a little faster, good old hits. Huh! Don't get stuck on the rocks, man! Holy titties! <gasps> oh. Was that a KV-85? Enemies winning. We are counterattacking. Friendly tiger. Oh! Where'd he come from? Woo! Reverse, reverse! Oh god. This is not gonna be good. Not gonna be good. Yeah! Sprechen the Deutsch Mutterficker! Who's that? Okay. Reloaded. Oh shit! Use the extinguishers! Move forward! What's shooting me in the booty? We're not gonna repair until this thing's dead. That looks like a nice spot. <laughs> Alright, time to repair. Hopefully I don't die. Hopefully I don't die. Please don't kill me now! 13 seconds. What did shoot us, man? Hopefully, it could have been friendly, I guess. Theoretically speaking, of course. <laughs> We're in a nice spot, kind of, but since we don't have a turret, like... We're a tank destroyer. Someone comes up the back of oh peek out peek out peek out peek out peek out peek out i try to talk to him it's like when you're driving and you're like you're like move man they can't hear you but it just makes you feel a little bit better skirt skirt not seeing anything where are they We need something to pop up on the map. Well, oh, key 49's incoming. Let's see what we can do. Can we be any aircraft? Nope. We tried though, we did our best. Just gotta go out there and give 110%. Alright, we're capping, so if they if they come to counterattack it, I think we're in a decent position. We've got two kills. Under tiered, not bad. Don't really need to defend that bomber. Don't want to, I'm hetzing, baby. Then we're gonna move. If nothing happens while we're capping. Like, you know, after we cap. They're definitely over there to my right. So it would be dangerous to skirt around this corner. Oh god. Lost the tank over there. Alright. Come on. Anything? Nothing yet? Oh, who's that? Oh, friendly tiger. So he'll lead the way. Building's over there. We'll support him. T-3485 T30, doing some work. Ooh, what killed that? A T-3485. Oh my god, tiger. This is dumb. Pull back. We could ammo rack him, but if he's looking at us... Can't really do a whole lot. Oh, there he is. He's behind this bush. I thought. Yeah, he definitely is. Can see him visually. But he's not popping up on the map. 
Gotta get ourselves in a spot. If we could hit them, you know, in some of those ammo rack spots. Alright, this looks... Oh, is it dead? I think it's a dead one. He should... He should trigger up. Ah! No! Oh. Oh, is this turret... <laughs> what are we do? Are we getting tank sexed? I don't know what's happening. Oh, our, our left track. Wow, that was that was scary. I think his turret was just damaged, man. Sorry, bud. I'm repairing. Up, oh, everyone's dead. Look at that. I'm in the best squad, guys. <laughs> And then the French are trying to get all frisky on me. So that was kind of two experiences. One where you're, you know, equally tiered. And I played recklessly. Got the same amount of kills as when I was under tiered. And played conservatively. So that was kind of fun. Two assists, two kills. Not too bad. It's not the greatest, but let's take a look at this guy's armor. So this is what I'm talking about. From the front, it's pretty good. 60 millimeters, 60 degrees slope. You got the, I think it's the pig's head type gun mantlet right here. So a lot of rounding, very difficult to penetrate. Um, the lower glacis is 40 millimeters, but it's still got a nice 40 degree slope. But if you are going to aim from the front, that's your spot. And um, since it is a, a casemate tank destroyer, you can always damage the tracks and flank it. And then look at this. 20 millimeters of thickness on this armor. 10 millimeters in the back. Goodness. So if you're going to... But it's... I guess the effective thickness is 16. <laughs> it's not very good. Well, 22, but you know. So if you're going to pop it, pop it right here. Because it's flat in the back and it's only 20. But yeah, this thing's really only, you know, decently survivable when facing the enemy if you get flanked you're boned because 20 millimeters of thickness all that ammo right there ba-boom and then from the front if you are going to aim now that i look at it aim for the lower left quadrant because there's that that ammunition right behind it so uh, you got the 40 millimeters of thickness uh i think it was at a 40 degree slope yeah 40 millimeters of thickness 40 degree slope and right behind that is a nice piece of ammunition so that lower left quadrant on the headser and then obviously from the side you can pretty much hit anywhere and you're gonna penetrate um, this thing's tier 3 and it's only got 20 millimeters of you know side armor and then if you're gonna aim at it from the back this here is flat but you know you a lot of it's gonna be absorbed by some of this big machinery but it's a fun tank I enjoyed it <laughs> Headser's gonna heads, baby. So let me know what you want me to play next, ladies and gentlemen. I thank y'all for watching. Make sure to pull the trigger on the like button and share this video with a friend who needs to learn what Hetzing is all about. And I'll see you guys soon.